Hey, hi there. Do you find that it is difficult to draw a human face, and it is hard to get the proportion right? Created something like this, and this. This video will guide you an easy way to draw a portrait step by step in 10 minutes using simple tools you can find at home. First, you need the pencil. I'm using 6B here, but a normal HB would do just fine. And then a rubber. So, let's begin. First, draw a circle on paper. Put a line horizontally in the middle. Then, a line above and a line below the circle. Measure the distance between the lines and use this distance to draw another line below the circle. Now we created three equal spaces horizontally. Add two vertical lines on the side of the circle. This forms the width of face. Next, a line in the middle of the second grid row. Do the same to the third grid row. Put a vertical line in the center and create two equal spacing columns. We name them as A and B. The line in the middle of the second grid row is the level of eyes, and the line in the middle of the third grid row is the level of mouth. Now, let's draw the eyes. Put a line in the middle of column A. Draw vertical lines in the middle of the grids just created. Do the same to column B. Now we created three equal spaces horizontally. It is important to know that eyes are located in the middle of the face in vertical direction. Many beginners thought eyes are higher up on face, above the center line of head. We can now draw the eyes out in the sockets of space 1 and 3. Then we can start drawing the nose. The nose is located slightly under the bottom line of the second grid row. Let's start drawing the lips. As mentioned before, the mouth is located in the middle line of third grid row. For the width of mouth, you can extend the lines from the middle of eyes. The width of mouth is slightly smaller than the gap those two lines created. Of course, the width varies from one person to another. Next, the eyebrows. Add a line between the upper blue line and the middle green line in the second green row. The orange line is the level of eyebrows. The eyebrows are slightly longer than the eye. Again, it varies between people. The top of ears should be slightly below the eyebrows. You can take the width between outer tip of eye and the edge of face. Use this width to draw a little line outside the face edge. And this is the width of the ear. The bottom part of ears should reach the blue bottom line of second grid row. Now we draw the face. The chin line is at the bottom blue line of the grid row. There is a turning point on the face where the jaw is located. It is around the level of the mouth. Join those lines and do the same to the other side of the face. So finally we draw the hair. The hairline is located slightly above the green middle line of the first grid row. Just a note that the top blue line is the top of the head when there is no hair. So do add some thickness, unless of course, the person you are drawing is bold. Draw neck and shoulders. 
finish up drawing the hair and features. Rub the grid lines off. Now you got the face drawn out. You can add shadows, colors, and so on to finish up your artwork. In this demonstration, I'll add some simple hatchings for your reference. Okay, finished. Let us quickly go through again. First, draw a circle and a horizontal line in the middle. Add horizontal lines on top and at the bottom of the circle. Measure the distance between the lines and use this distance to draw another line below the circle. We created three equal spaces horizontally. Add two vertical lines on the side of the circle and a line in the middle. This forms two vertical columns with equal spaces A and B. Now, add a horizontal line in the middle of second grid row. This is the left of the eyes, which is in the middle of the face. Add another line in the middle of third grid row. This is the left of mouth. Put vertical lines in the middle of column A and B. Draw vertical lines in the middle of the grids just created. Now we created three equal spaces horizontally. This defines the width of eyes and the space between them. Add a line between the upper blue line and the middle green line in the second green row. The orange line is the level of eyebrows. The top of ears should be slightly below the eyebrows. The bottom parts of ears should reach the blue bottom line of second row. You can take the width between outer tip of eye and the edge of face. Use this width to draw a new line outside the face edge, and this is the width of the ear. The nose is located slightly under the bottom line of second green row. The hairline is located slightly above the green middle line of the first green row. The top blue line is the top of the head when there is no hair. So do add some fingers unless the person you are drawing is bold. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this. See you all next time. Bye bye.